All right, you guys, welcome to the 12th Warrior Fantasy League. Uh, breaking news today, uh, I'm giving my pick for the Super Bowl 51, and obviously it's going to be the Falcons, 32-27. to 27. Uh, I went ahead and posted that on Instagram at d.bitty, B-I-T-T-Y, so you can uh, keep up to date with me over on Instagram and also right here on YouTube. I uh, just wanted to jump in between the NBA, NCAA Fantasy Faves, action since it's halftime <clears throat> with that league six games are done and six more are on the way uh, just to go ahead and give you guys an update as to what's going to transpire uh, next season in the NFL NCAA fantasy league under the 12th warrior umbrella so what we got here I went ahead and um, already made the schedule um, I'm going to try to do that each time uh, during this um, uh, I, I don't want to say all-star break, but during this um, halfway point of the NBA season and uh, the Wednesday before the Super Bowl, just to give you guys a, a flavor and a taste, a teaser, if you will, for the upcoming uh, football season. Um, last time I had 12 teams, I had six pro and six college, and it worked out okay. I ended up uh, following like the college football playoff uh, format and having four teams uh, be eligible for the playoff. However, this year I, I, you know, I was just thinking with only six teams and 12 teams actually make the playoffs in the NFL, I was thinking, you know what, I need to open this up a little bit to get more people involved. Um, if your team wasn't among the six out of 32 NFL teams, uh, I understand that you probably weren't very interested in this league. Uh, going forward, if you weren't interested in the six teams in the college um, uh, realm that I chose, you probably weren't interested either. So I went ahead and opened it up a little bit. So you're gonna have 12 teams in the NFL, 12 teams in the NCAA. And uh, once again, we're gonna keep to this, the same uh, formats for divisions, North, East, South, and West. Um, and there's the same thing, there's gonna be three teams per division and the final game of the year, or a final game of the season, uh, you'll have the top two teams in each division play for the division championship. And then those teams and whoever has better records will advance to the playoffs. Which of course, since I have um, 12 teams in each league, so 24 teams now, as opposed to a, a 12 total, uh, we're gonna have a, a, a better playoffs as well. I'll probably have the top two teams sit um, from each conference in the NFL and the NCAA, and then I'll have um, uh, four teams go at it in both those conferences. So that puts us at uh, 12 teams out of 24 that will get to participate. That way the, um, the playoffs are a little bit more exciting. And then eventually when we get down to four, you'll have that feel of the, of the college football playoff. And um, this year I would like to try to at least have two NFL teams and two NCAA teams uh, be represented in the final four, but we'll see how that goes regarding records and so forth. But uh, all that to say, these are the teams that are, uh, have been selected and, and I'm gonna give you the schedule of one of the teams just so you have a flavor as to how that's gonna look. So in the NCAA, the North Division, you have the Washington Huskies, which were in the league last year. That's my favorite team. You're going to have Stanford, and you're going to have UCLA. So that right there is an all Pac-12 league. I'll just make a note of that. Uh, in the East, you're going to have Michigan, Florida State, and Penn State. So Michigan and Florida State were in the league last year. Uh, I included Penn State because of the run that they had at the end of the year. And, and personally, I think they probably should have got in over Ohio State uh, simply because they were the, the Big Ten champ. So Michigan, Florida State, Penn State is the NCAA East. Then you have the NCAA West. I said that uh, in, instead of Missouri, Arizona State was gonna be added. So Arizona State is in that league as well as USC. And to round out the third team in the West, we have the Oklahoma Sooners. I believe uh, Baker Mayfield's coming back. Um, 
I'm not sure about his uh, his receiver that made it to the Heisman uh, finalists, but I know that, yeah, he was a senior. So Baker Mayfield should be back, and that looks like an up-and-coming team. So Penn State and Oklahoma are, are new additions here. Uh, then you got over in the NCAA South, you have an all-SEC affair there with Alabama. Got to add Alabama after they – Came close to winning the whole thing. <clears throat> LSU and Georgia. So uh, the Tigers uh, of LSU made it back into the league. So I kept, uh, let's see here. I kept Washington. I kept UCLA. I kept Michigan. I kept Florida State. Uh, and I kept LSU. So the only team in the college ranks that didn't come back would be uh, Missouri, which I was pretty um, uh pretty convinced that I didn't want them to come back so uh I think the three selections from the SEC I think they'll they'll put in some work I think they'll be be a good uh, good choices all right so then over in the NFL the NFL West you have the Chiefs the LA Chargers and the Dallas Cowboys uh, I wanted to keep two teams that were rivals in their actual divisions as part of uh, each division. So you have the Chiefs and Chargers, and then you include also the Cowboys there. Over in the uh, NFL North, you're gonna have the Patriots, the Rams, and the Seahawks. So the Rams are a carryover, as well as the Chiefs, and so are the Seahawks. They're a carryover from last year. So the Rams and Seahawks are division rivals, and then you throw in the Patriots to shake things up in that division. In the NFL East, you have the Eagles and Giants, and then you have the Vikings. So Eagles and Giants are uh, division rivals, and then you throw in the Vikings to make things a little bit more exciting. Uh, none of those teams were in my league last year, but I did say that the Eagles were going to be a new addition this year. So I wanted to honor my word and keep the Eagles, as well as the Patriots. I mentioned that, uh, the Patriots would be a new addition, and, and they are in my league as well. So then capping off... Uh, the overall league, you have the NFL South. You have the Buccaneers, the Saints, and the Dolphins. The Saints are a carryover from last season. Uh, the Saints actually won their division, so they're definitely in my league. Then you have new inclusions, the Buccaneers and the Dolphins. Uh, Bucks and Saints are actual rivals in real life. And then the Dolphins will be there to um, spice up the, um, the overall proceedings. Another thing I wanted to do is I looked at the playoffs this year, and I wanted to have at least... Um, I wanted to have three AFC playoff teams and three NFC playoff teams in my league. So I, I looked to see who was already uh, a part of it last year. You had the Chiefs, you had the Seahawks, you had the Giant, uh, the Chiefs and the Seahawks uh, were the only teams that actually made the playoffs that were in my league last year. So I went ahead and kept those two. Um, I did mention I was going to add the Patriots, so the Patriots became a third. They're, they are not only were in the playoffs, but they're in the Super Bowl, going up against this, these Falcons here. Uh, and then uh, the Giants made the playoffs, so they made my league. The Dolphins made the playoffs, so they made my league. And also the Cowboys made the playoffs, so they're in my league. So the three AFC teams that were in the playoffs last uh, or this season here, the Chiefs, the Patriots, and the Dolphins, all made it into my league, and then three over there in the NFC, the Cowboys, Seahawks, and Giants. They all made it into my league. All right, so that's a, a breakdown of what it's going to look like. Let me give you a quick, uh, before this 10 minutes runs up, uh, we got a sample schedule. The Georgia Bulldogs, since I'm decked out in Atlanta gear, Georgia Bulldogs, you're going to have a 12-game season. Georgia faces off against the Cowboys and then the Saints. Then they play uh, division rival LSU, uh, out of conference Michigan, division rival LSU again, out of conference Florida State, division rival Alabama, out of conference Penn State, division rival Alabama, and then they finish up with the Patriots and Eagles, and then their final game is their divisional championship game against either LSU or Alabama. So I wanted to make sure that the division teams played each other twice, out of conference within um, the college ranks played each other once, 
and then I went ahead and gave them four uh, games against NFL opponents uh, to start the season and to close out the season. So that's how it's going to look. Um, I hope you guys are excited about that, as I am. Um, I know that the Super Bowl is the last game of the year uh, for football for a while. So um, uh, it's going to be rough. But I'm going to try to keep you guys entertained with this league. Um, we have the second half of the NBA, NCAA, uh, taking place uh, right now uh, over these next couple of days. Um, going through the All-Star break, and then after the All-Star break, you should begin to see the playoffs. And then uh, coming up after that, I'm tinkering with the idea of a NASCAR league. Um, there's also a spring football league um, in the works. I'm thinking about eight NASCAR teams right now, and maybe four of those spring league football teams, and seeing what I can work out with that. If it's not gonna be the spring league football, um, depending on when uh, baseball starts, I might incorporate NASCAR and baseball and put those two together. So uh, there will also be a March Madness um, playoff challenge. So I'll keep you guys informed of that. And uh, you know what, uh, my, my pick, let me get my pick in real quick. I already mentioned it on Instagram, but I'm picking the Falcons over the Patriots. Falcons 32, Patriots 27. Uh, some fun facts, no team that's ever worn white jerseys uh, have won the Super Bowl in Houston. They're 0-2. Uh, so put that in your, um, in your pipe and smoke it. And then the Falcons are the, the team that scored the most points in the regular season of any teams the Patriots have ever played in the Super Bowl. Go Falcons. Rise up. In brotherhood, we rise. Let's do this.